name is Jian Qian. I'm a bioscientist and now I'm retired. I used to work in a laboratory. I found my liver cancer in 1999 and found a 10 centimeter large uh, cancer. In 1976, in the summertime, I, uh, I donated a, a 500 cc of blood. When I heard that I have hepatitis B, I got the letter. It was like a hammer hitting on my head. It's a very uh, insidious uh, disease. My family doctor told me to go to see a uh, hepatologist. After the uh, diagnosis, uh, Dr. Gordon told me to have the uh, liver exam every six months, but I uh, didn't follow up. That's why I, I, I found the tumor much later. After the surgery, I go to the doctor every six months to have a uh, ultrasound to prevent uh, the recurrence of the tumor. A lot of people have this false uh, impression that uh, the hepatitis B is, is nothing because uh, they, can, they can still work, but they didn't know the hidden consequences. So you have to let them know that they can get cancer like me. And uh, when they see that, they, they immediately go to the doctor. I usually talk to my church because uh, you have this uh, closeness in order to talk about these private things. In this setting, it's, it's a good forum to, to talk about your the hepatitis and their health most of the time and their faith. When I'm in the church, I usually tell them, first get the correct diagnosis. The second, to find a good doctor to seek the treatment. The third thing is to talk to the, the people who has gone through this. They will not be so worried or panic like there's nothing can be done. Actually, my health is very good. It's better than before my surgery. I was able to walk three miles, we exercise every day. So marvelous thing to, to have it taken care of. My lifestyle changed quite a bit. First of all, I'm not worried as much. And the reason is uh, I should have died, but I didn't. So all the time I have is extra. So you much relaxed and said, so what I get is, is the life which uh, I'm not supposed to have.